There is a way you will sin, 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 sin. And reach certain depth in sin. Satan will no longer be interested in hanging around you. Because your, your, your nature has become a stronghold. The grip of that sin over you does not require the partnership of any spirit suggesting it to you. Hormones are now involved. Your, your genetic... You know, man, man has an, 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 an anatomy that is well detailed. Your bones, you know, your, your, your arteries, your capillaries, your veins, every muscle, well captured by the knowledge we have in the medical field. Man also has a physiology. How all these systems work. You can practice a sin to an extent that it will alter your physiology. It will not be spirit again. It will be hormone seeking expression you can smoke to an extent that if you have not taken that cigarette for a time you, your body will literally be shaking that is what lost too can become and so when satan ah, it's not only in the kingdom of light that men can grow you can grow in darkness too mind you if you are not growing in light you are growing in darkness all men are growing it's just a question of which direction are you growing if your life is not growing in light Believe me, you are growing every day. If you are not growing in light, you are growing in darkness. The devil's plan is not, you know, you can, you may even start by just being lustful. You just stay quietly and go and hide, hide somewhere and type, and type a strange address and go and watch pornography. A day will come, Satan will say, come up here. You have tarried on this mountain for too long. I have met people, I have met human beings like me and you who have been drawn into dark chambers through practice. Now the man goes around. The only thing that satisfies his lust is a pregnant woman. So if, if you are not pregnant, <laughs> you know, they are they are telling you to stop now. You say you know what you are doing. You will soon grow in darkness. Have you seen people that the only thing that satisfies their interest is depraved, depraved thoughts? So a man is attracted to have sexual knowledge of a two-year-old child. Two-year-old baby. You see, at that level, yours is not immorality again. It's abomination. Men sleeping with a chicken and then the neighbors now caught him see human beings passing see girls everywhere you are not attracted to them again it's a chicken, an animal, bestiality tap the person by your side and say if you are not careful you will grow in that sin <laughs> it is like it is like a drunk you start with one bottle. Very soon, one bottle cannot make you high again. <laughs> and mind you, there is a high you are looking for with every sin. And that high, it was designed that it's a spirit that should make you high. But the devil has found alternative route to give you a momentary feeling of high. And so he says, be not drunk with wine, wearing in essence. Be a few. It will not stop in one bottle. I know a man now. And I will tell you everything in my heart today. When the spirits of darkness exhaust the youth of a man, eh, they will discard you as though you never served them. Satan is not a good master. He does not reward those who serve him well. He will abandon you after you have served him faithfully. He will abandon you in a way. Then you will know that he has always hated you because you resemble God. Anytime he sees you, he is looking at God. And he will pretend as though you and him are in, are in agreement. He wants to exhaust a, a particular part of your life that spirits are interested in. Remember now thy cradle in the days of thy youth. I must
must do the work of he that sent me while it is day. If your day period leaves you, you will find out that Satan is not on your side. I've seen a prostitute. The place where our ministry is located, it is put in the hub, a throne of immorality, a seat of abomination. And so where sin abounds, grace found a bright expression. And so it became a clash of kingdom. Darkness will present strange candidates. Light also emerged with songs. Songs that were written of the pollution. So we now started a battle of Armageddon in that space. A contention of light versus darkness. So it is a place where a, a prostitute can stroll into your meeting and sit down briefly. If you are not a master builder, you will say, who is that person that is, that is, that is not well dressed? Send her away. You just sent a soul away. <laughs> so, in order to survive that kind of space, because you know the kind of people who will be coming, you will need to also go to the womb of the spirit and download wisdom. If this kind come, how, how do we handle this case? So a prostitute serves Satan. Serves Satan for over 25 years of her life. Let me share something with you. When the spirit of lust saw that her body is no longer fashionable to continue that trade because age has set in but she has always been a harlot the spirit now entered a new assignment and the assignment is not gratuity it's not pension <laughs> because the woman has served well you know how many men she must have slept with for 25 years of daily practice you know how many how many destinies were truncated instead of you to give that kind of woman a crown you know what the spirits began to do they began to find ways to leave her body there are only two things that can remove a spirit from a body one power two death and in the occasion where power did not create that chance for the spirit to live because now the spirit is in that body but the body is no longer attractive for it to be doing the exploit it was doing before so when spirits go and meet and give report of their, their account for the month he find out that his own, his own account is low <laughs> when spirit A come and say I brought down 70 great men this week for me I brought three generals down. That particular one inside her finds out that his own conquest, they are few because even human beings are not attracted to something that does not look good again. So men were not coming towards her. The spirit now started creating an opening. Started opening her vessel up for other more terrible spirits to come and help him destroy her. And the first spirit he opened her vessel up to was the spirit of infirmity. So the young woman will go to the hospital. They will do all kinds of tests. They say, nothing is wrong with you. Have you been in that position before? Nothing is wrong with you. If your, your vitals are okay. Nothing. It was a spirit. A spirit that was trying to, I don't want this body again. I, I want another body. A young body. Mind you, the spirit of immorality can be inside a child. And he cannot use that child yet because the appendages have not developed to be deployed in the right direction yet. So he will only keep certain tendencies in the child and be waiting for when the body has given it its full capability to display lust. Ah, parents, this is why it's good to spend quality time of prayer with your children many strange spirits can just encamp and be hiding for many years waiting for the moment of appearing. I, in fact, every, everything I've said is a, is a deviation. I'm talking about Revelation chapter 12. Don't worry. 
I'll, I'll tie it up now. Pray. Tomorrow we'll have impactation, healing, and transfer of graces. Then, I believe Jesus will leave his throne mightily. I celebrate all the ministers who have labored in this space. I can tell that labor is on this ground. And so let's appreciate them again, please.